talk to each other. Mm-hmm. So he wouldn't even know. Huh. But that's what the fusion center is for. So if that Portland cop contacted the fusion center, fusion center and said, Hey, uh, Salem or any other agencies in Oregon, do you have police reports on this person? And the fusion center will check that and say, yeah, we have, you know, two reports on this person. You want them? Like, yeah, please email them to me. So then he'll have that additional information. Okay. Yeah. Cause I heard a lot and a lot of what I heard is like, how can they go to a bank and get someone's credit card information and find out where they, <laughs> that's, that's all paranoia. That's all that's, paranoia. That's all paranoia. You can't believe everything you read on the internet, right? Yeah, that's true. That's why I like coming and talking to people that know what's going on and stuff like that. So think about it like this. If, you know, our fusion centers were that really powerful, mm-hmm. they can get like bank information or your personal receipts and all kinds of stuff like that. Mm-hmm. How do people slip through the cracks on background checks? How do right. slip through the cracks on traffic stops? Because mm-hmm. honestly, it's complete paranoia. We're not spying on Americans mm-hmm. because, th- to be frank and honest, no one has time to. We have more mm. crime to deal with. You know, I mean, we're on the West Coast. Yeah. You know how bad crime is. Oh, yeah. I mean, the city of Portland had over 700 cars stolen this year. Hmm. 700. Yeah. So, I mean, think about that. Like, we are we have more crime to deal with than we know of. Um, I mean, that's not even counting all the shootings, mm-hmm. the, the all the, the thefts. Like, look at all the businesses that closed down in Portland from mm-hmm. just rampant thefts right. that go unsolved. Well, look at the Portland police not, not responding to calls. Well, they don't have a choice because there aren't many of them left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there aren't many of them left anymore. Right. So when you have a city that should have over a thousand cops and they actually only have 600, mm-hmm. what do you expect is going to happen? Yeah. And then on top of that, the city is supposed to have a thousand cops just based on population. Mm-hmm. However, the city of Portland mm-hmm. has a very high crime rate. Right. Like, you're not unfamiliar with that. Oh, I know. Yeah. So now you talk about them being short just based on population. Mm -hmm. And you add an extra high crime rate to that. Cops aren't going to be able to respond to everything in a timely manner. No. That's impossible. Yeah, Wheeler. I heard something about Wheeler wanting the state police, wanting the mayor or the governor to send in the state police to do some of the work and stuff. Well, they are helping out downtown. Um, actually, if you go downtown during the daytime, Mm -hmm. uh, walk around, you'll see some of the bicycle cops now Mm -hmm. are state police cops Mm -hmm. to help out, especially with some of the drug problems that go on downtown in in the daytime. Right. There's a lot of just hand to hand drug deals going on. You you Mm -hmm. probably see it. Yeah. In the daytime. Yeah. Yeah. It makes me sick because you're sitting there, dude, you're doing, you're doing drugs in front of a school or you're doing drugs in front of a church. Right. 